Oh, Elden Ping. Oh, Elden Ping. Alright, we're back. We're back. I'm pretty tired, chat. But we're back. Hey Joe, I started my master's degree program for social work this week. Wish me luck. I wish you luck. Good luck with that. Okay, all my windows are still set up from earlier, so I feel a bit out of sorts. I don't have anything to move over. Do, do, do. He's going to hate this game. Uh, I played the first mission or the tutorial mission. I don't know. And uh, I didn't like it so far, but we'll restart again. I skipped all the cutscenes. I have no idea what's going on in the story. Uh, will the game? Let's find out. Will you honor the offer you made at the end of inscription? Zorgrox got in before stream and currently pinned. Are you sure? I will review. And if the message is in the VOD... Because the VOD cuts off when the stream ends. If the message saying what, what the enemy was picked is in the VOD chat, then I will honor the deal. Honor. Only 450 people. Well, like, notifications haven't gone out yet. Controller, or mouse, and keyboard. I'm gonna play with a controller because that seems like the the best thing. Joe, it's been an age. How you been? My weave. We streamed earlier today. How's it going, Atticus? Thank you to uh, Sphixes or some say Spikes for the resub. Thank you very much. Thank you Naughty One for the resub as well, and thank you Eight Bit Reaper for the new sub. Do you have the AC grip? Yep, I do. I do. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this Dark Souls ass main menu. Look at this. Getting some Metal Gear vibes. How'd you feel about Inscription? Miss that stream? I liked it a lot. Pretty good. 7 out of 10. I feel like I forgot to do something. Did I forget to do something? Hmm. 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 That's probably fine. Okay. Okay, so new game. Yeah, delete and start new game. Enter a pilot name. Uh Waffles bought a pot. No. Or a bot. In honor of. In honor of. Um, in the inscription card. Or a bot. The screw you. <laughs> Are we just starting? Okay, I hope the sound's okay. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. That's in the name of the game. Handler Walter. 
Verified. Is it okay? Too quiet? Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human. Okay. So people are saying it's too quiet. Hold on. Oh no. Sound seems kind of messed up, huh? Big sounds. It's on my end too. Then is it because I alt tabbed out? No sound when no atmosphere. My weave. There was sound. That's not the issue. Camera movement, WASD. Alright, so it has like uh, the Dark Souls 2 dead zone on movement, but on meth and crack. So that's actually kind of shit. I don't really like that at all. Um, but the rest of the movement from what I played earlier, I played I played the first mission earlier. Um, the rest of the movement is actually pretty cool. So you, you press uh, press B and you go into, into zoom sprint mode. And uh, I'm zooming. Whoa, here we go. Alright, why are all the controls in keyboard and mouse? I have a... Like, I'm hitting the A button, and it's like, yeah, space, that's fine. Alright, what if I, like... Oh, damn, and now I switch. No? Okay, well, that's gonna... That's gonna suck. Alright, so B makes you makes you zoom. A is jump. There is a double jump, but not really. It's more of a... You can just hold it, and you can boost. Is there fall damage? Doesn't seem so. Uh, X is inexplicably like a dodge kind of thing that puts you in boost mode. And you can see the boost gauge in the, the, the bottom there. Um, UI is uh, like... Intrusive just doesn't even begin to cover it. Huh? Is, is this circle thing here the whole time forever? Because like, holy shit. Anyway, so like it didn't go away when I played it earlier. Um, so we have this. All right, I like I like the B movement a lot. Like th this this movement feels really fun, and the the jump and hovering is really cool too. I like that a lot, and the 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 dash is good. And then we have shooting. So RT does the gun, and you can see at the bottom right there. So so RT is RA for some reason, and then LA is this. LB does nothing. LA is on a big. Um, cooldown. Oh, you can hit it more than once. And then RB is rockets. R equals right arm. Oh, that's how it's going to be, chat, huh? That's how it's going to be? Alright, alright, I see. Okay. What does RB stand for then? Right, right boulder? Why are you playing with a controller, noob? Why would I not play with a controller? Some actions consume EN. Isn't this a console game? Isn't this the first one that's come to PC? Siri, Armored Core Games.
platforms. Windows is on here. Hold on. Games. All right. Last game in this series came out in 2012. You know, so that would have to be, if that one, was that on PC? No, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Someone's just trying to be a shitter and they got shat on. How embarrassing. You can change the button prompt in the options so you get a game. How about, yeah, I should do that. How do I, how do I do that? I can't do that. It won't, it won't let me do that. Control. Type A. Type B. Alright, type B is, A is boost. No, I want, I want, I want A to be jump. What about C? Cust, no, nah, type A. Whoop! Alright, there we go. Oh, also, uh, left stick does this weird boost thing, which is really fun. Woo! Dun, dun, dun. That's really fun, I like that a lot. It almost makes you feel like you're playing um, Nier Automata, which is coincidentally a much better game. So it, it really makes you feel like you're having a good time. The Red Kill automatically targets on-screen enemies. Uh, when there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the party target. Okay, so it will... Clear off those guard mechs. Perfect chance to test your AC. Hmm... Oh no! Alright, owned. Easy game. So, their falling doesn't kill you, it just does damage. Uh, I, I tried it earlier, I won't try it again this time. I didn't try going up here earlier though. Target assist keeps your AC oriented toward the target. Uh, when enabled, your AC will automatically lock its orientation towards enemies as you approach them. You can still use the camera to change targets while in target assist mode. All right. All right, and these red things are boundary of the level. All right. This movement's fun. The missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder of this AC is capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding down the input for that weapon. So hold, and you get multi-lock attack. All right, I'm holding. So yellow means they're targeted. Now I wanna target these two. No, I used all of my, my shit. All right. Okay, so there's four missiles that did, and it did two and two, and then that was over. I wonder if I can cancel it. Joe really woke up and decided to play Gravity Rush 3. Oh man. Oh man. Use repair kits to repair your AC and recover AP, armor points. Repair kits can be used up to three times per mission, but cannot be used in rapid succession. Use repair kit. Your AC is taking damage. All right. Patch it up. Thank you, Walta. Two repair kits remaining. Uh-oh. See the contaminated city down there? That's where you're landing. Access the catapult. How's the sound? Are we good? Why this game? Cause, it's, Cause it just came out and it's the people that made Dark Souls and I want to see if it's good or not. And if I don't, then it's like, I'll wonder forever if I like it or not. Sometimes I play games. 
Sorry if that was just an honest question. Chad has conditioned me to be able to think that every question is comes with a, a helping of hostility. I just said, yeah, there, there you go, yeah. Don't you normally play these off stream? I can't remember the last time I played a game off stream. I played a little Path of Exile, that's it. Evolve Idol. Is that really? Does that really count, though? Coral. coral. We'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. Oh man, can I have more exposition, please? Okay, so, nitpick number one, I think that the trees look terrible. I think that looks this looks like we are like a robot in model worlds and the trees are fake trees and we are just like, like I, I don't think the trees look good. I don't know if the scale is off or whatever. I don't, I don't think the trees look good. Nitpick one has been uh, delivered. Quick boost lets you instantly accelerate in any direction. All right, that's the, the dodge. All right. Movement is pretty fun though. Use Assault Boost to move rapidly in the direction that the camera is facing, or to rapidly approach targets. Assault Boost. During Boost, cancel Assault Boost. Picking up signals from AC Rex. Ooh. Follow the markers. Did you ever play Zone of Enders? Was that on PlayStation 1? Or PlayStation 2? I might have actually played that game. I think one of my cousins had that game, and when I was visiting him once, I played it a little bit. That sounds like something I might have played. Was it a fighting game? Could you do fighting in it? I, maybe I think of something else. Ooh, what's down here? Okay, you know what? This looks pretty bad, too. I wonder if the scale is off on this, maybe. Do you agree, agree From Software is a stupid name for a company? Um, like, on the one hand, yeah, but it is a bit memorable. Because it's weird. So it serves this purpose. I think it's okay for, um, for company names to be weird. Still haven't decided what uh, our company name is going to be. License code extracted from AC Rec in the contaminated city contains the pilot's registration data. Registration number RB18, call sign Thomas Kirk, rank 26 slash E, affiliation independent, license expired. This one's already expired. Well, it's not fruit. Okay. What was this about shields? Get out of here! You can handle them! It's the PCA's plan, so 
What is this, like, airplane sound that happens when you're falling? Do, do. Like you're like you're pinging uh like a uh, oh god what are they called an an air stewardess. Captain speaking. That's neat. License code extraction from base. I don't think I have to read this, right? We're good. License expires in 12 hours. Corp license. Easily traced. Forget it. Both of them to start off with like an MMO quest. Six to one. I think there's a lot more than six here. Why can't I shoot? Oh, I, I have to reload. Oh, damn. Alright, so orange things means there's still people are- Let me shoot! Let me shoot! It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Oh, no. I've picked up one more rank, 621. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. Alright, so we're very close to the part where I stopped playing. I played this this morning to make sure OBS would record it, because I always do that with new games. Because you never know. And so, vertical launch, you can do this. Can use that vertical catapult to get some altitude. Or you can just say, nah, I'm good. And you can just go up yourself. Ha ha! That's it. Try accessing the wreck. Did you win? I did win, but I died twice, which I was very surprised. So, what is this vertical catapult like? Is it fun? Oh, that's pretty good. the sword last time.
You want a heal chat? We healed. We healed. Oh my god, we're just dead. What happens? Punish for healing. Holy shit, where did those come from? What the hell? Reddit blocker? Yeah, I guess so. For your information, you only need to press lock on once. I only did press it once. The middle. You mean this, right? Yeah. Or do you mean it will just stay on all the time? Can I get on top of him? We got what we came for. Time to lose that system. No, it doesn't look like it. Whoa, how the fuck did he do that? The rockets just missing. Oh, I see. Rules of nature. All right. So, like, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, when you're out in the open, um, seems like you're just going to be taking chip damage all the time. Maybe I don't understand the dodging just yet, which is very likely, but, like, hmm, I don't know. Raven, license code extracted from AC rec in the contaminated city, contains the pilot's registration data. Call sign Raven. Where's Cat? Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. Okay, great. Man, so you you're telling me this is what Dark Souls' story is like if they're not being vague? Wow. Uh, hey, Dark Soul, you're you're the alpha. All right, cool. Thank you. That's your new call sign. All right, base pay, uh, that amount. Repair costs, ammunition costs. Oh, so if I don't use my um, repair packs and my ammunition, I I get more money. Interesting. Okay. Coral, a sublime substance, <laughs> discovered on Rubicon. <laughs> frontier of developed space all right for a time coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds they called it the fires of ibis Ooh. a storm of flame that tore through the stars leaving lethal contamination in its wake coral the kindling was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, rise on, the embers continued to burn. Humanity 
would inevitably return to stoke the fire. <laughs> Hey, Lily. Thanks. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. What? I just stole someone's identity and now I can use the the AI garage? Really? Okay. That's kind of weird. Looks like you passed the authentication. Yeah. Raven. That's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. Crap! I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. Who's, who's 621? I'm Raven. Who are you talking to? This notification follows restoral of access privileges. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. You stand to benefit regardless. So we've had one tutorial, let's have a second tutorial. The following feature is now available, Sortie. The following feature is now available, AC design. All right. Sortie on missions or hone your skills during using mercenary support simulators. Change AC parts and adjust its appearance. Pilot name, the screw you. Assembly, paint, decals, image editor, AC data. All right, assembly. Customize AC assemblies using the parts you have available in the assembly menu. When assembling an AC, an AC ensuring, ensure that your build keeps within maximum weight and EN load parameters. Alright. Okay. Okay, I have, I have nothing to change it to. Unfortunately. Okay. I probably get more parts by doing this the sortie. If only I did the pre-order, maybe I could have gotten some stuff. Paint. Make AC cosmetic adjustments from the paint menu. This includes coloring and texture settings. All right. Color set. Uh, let's just stick with the default for now until we... Uh... Ooh, he'd be a weathered AC. Alright. Apply emblems in your possession and user created images to your to your AC from the decals menu. User created, you say? Joms. Joms. How do I make one? Let's use the mouse. I don't understand. Press it when I press A, it takes me here to a preset. Oh, it's it's where you want to put it. Oh wow, the lag. Image editor. Combine preset pieces to create original p images from the image editor menu. Create images can create images can be applied to ACs as decals or used as emblems. If online, you can upload images you created to share to a share ID. Okay. 
Oho. Can I just draw a line? Oh, this is gonna take forever. There's no way, man. It's gonna take forever. We have the code. It, we mean there's a code. My friends and I, we've cracked the code. Enter a share ID to search this. <sighs> All right, let's let's put it on. <laughs> All right, and now 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 another one on the core. <laughs> And now another one on the arm. And now another... Alright, there we go. Bigger. No, that, that looks good to me. All right, now, now let's do another one. Oh no, it's it's a one one leg only. One leg only. Should we punch with Bikoi? Bikoi on our fist. Maybe this one should be on on the back so we could always see him. Alright, there we go. Or up here. Alright, core. This this is the most important one. It's so cursed! 
Oh no! So, so someone said I could do like I could do another one. Oh, okay. Imagine being an Armored Core fan right now. All right, that's that, 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 that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's so fucking stupid. Wait, can we put one on the back of the core? All right, there we go. Alright, pretty good. Pretty good. Missions, replay mission, test the training. Test AC performance, missions. Checking income drives and, and, and sorte on missions from the missions menu. Complete missions, progress the story. Okay. Artil destroy artil artillery installations. Okay. Oh, that's the map we were just on. Okay, why were we doing that? Just to do jobs? Should we do training or no? Replay mission. To achieve an S rank rating, you must complete the mission without retrying from a checkpoint while also minimizing incoming damage, time taken, and ammunition consumed. Oh, that's how it's gonna be, huh? What was our rank, F? Learn to pilot an AC and master fundamental battle techniques from the training menu. Complete the exercise uh, exercise using the training AC to earn standardized training parts used for instruction. Okay. Aw, oh, it's not our Bikoi! Bikoi bot. To land shots of moving enemies, you must pull the trigger uh, while they are within lock-on range, while where target tracking is active. Okay. Weapons with magazines will automatically reload when the magazine's ammunition is depleted. Manually reload before engaging Amy to minimize the risk that your attacks will be interrupted by reload. Oh, so Y plus RT is manual reload. Okay. Missile lock. To use missiles and other homing rounds, keep the enemy on screen until lock on completes, then fire. Some missile weapons are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple uh, multiple enemies simultaneously by holding the input for the weapon. Uh, so hold and then multi-lock. During Y during multi-lock, cancel multi-lock. Ah, so Y is, is the button. Melee weapons equipped in the to the left hand require a risky close range approach but have high attack power impact and are useful for destroying shields. There's a charged version, okay.
There's another code? Okay, I'll, I'll check it out in a second. You can detect nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. Any objects that were detected by the scan will be temporarily highlighted. If an enemy is detected, you will be able to achieve lock-on th through walls, even through walls or other cover. Really? the wrong button there movement feels pretty good but um that boss fight kind of messed me up a little bit when it comes to avoiding damage um for the first boss pretty hard actually machine gun all right is that it training's over basic controls all right you know what the machine gun seems better than the one that we have Okay, attack power is lower, better weight, same amount of rounds, oh, maybe it's not better then. Hmm, no, I don't think so. Alright, what is this, uh, this other one? Does someone have the code in Dragon's though? You definitely want to try the code 9W. All right, let's let's find out. What is it? All right. Uh image editor, right? This one? All right, let's put a Joms on. Joms. Joms. Nice. Alright, so let's do a mission. Mission briefing. Raven. I'm Raven. This is an open call from the Balaam group. One of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dothan. Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Bios artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value. We cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. It's true. That's Show true. Us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Okay. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Impress us, mercenaries! Okay, I don't think we need to uh, change our mech at all at the moment. Alright, so we're going to destroy some targets. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Okay. Sortie on set the mission. Yep. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Why did we need the fake ID then? God, our mech is such a disaster. Main system activating combat mode. <laughs> Commence mission. Destroy all of the Rubicon Liberation Front's artillery placements.
to us already. Sneaky bastard. We destroyed this one already. Oh, my God, the beeping. Anime was that? Why does it feel like I'm playing Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and picking up Ruppies all the time? All targets destroyed. Picking up what? Ruppies! Return to base. Rupees. Are we done? Alright. Oh, hey, dude. All right, bonus pay, repair costs. I don't know. Okay, so repair costs are not from using your repair kit. It's from um, taking damage at the end. Okay. Did you see Factorio is doing an official space expansion? I did, yeah. This is a notification from All Mind, the mercenary support system. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Ooh. The parts shop. New exercise data added to training. 
Yeah, um, they have the person who made the space exploration mod on the team for Factorio, right? Or were they? Or was the person who made that mod always on the team for Factorio? I'm not sure. Because I read the, the blog post about it, and the person who wrote, who wrote the blog post on the official Factorio site is the person who made space Explo exploration mod. Um, I'd be curious to see if it's different enough to warrant playing if you've, and if you've already played space exploration. My guess is going to be less grindy, because space exploration is is grindy as hell. I feel like them doing an official version of that might bode well because I think the space exploration mod is clunky as fuck when it comes to moving things between planets. It's really annoying. It's my least favorite part of part of it. It's just not not great. But maybe it's meant to be like that. Uh, thank you to the following people. I think the last person I said thank you to was Eight Bit Reaper. Correct. No, maybe I said thank you to Legion7820 as well. Not sure. Thank you, in case I didn't. Thank you to Nexlative for the resub. Thank you, the Dread Carpet as well. Thank you, the Poca Pika99. Thank you, Mick Magnus98. Sorry, 96. Thank you, Dora Miart. Dora Miart for the resub. Baku Haku Draws Things as well. Thank you, Louis XOXOXO. Thank you also to Dalmec for gifting a sub to Klussy Honker. Not sure what that is, but because it's from Dalmec, I might have just got banned from Twitch. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ant Eaters Anonymous. <laughs> Always fun to say that. And thank you to Telepniter for the new sub as well. Welcome, welcome. Alright, let's go to the part shop and see what we have. Buy, sell. Alright, buy. Purchase AC parts sold by the various corporations and factions from the buy menu. More parts will be available for purchase as you make progress through the store and meet certain conditions. Who's, who's delivering this stuff? Alright, so we can get a burst rifle, which is better than what we have. A large caliber handgun. Okay. Which does less damage than the burst rifle. And has way less bullets too, that's kinda weird. Less impact. But a lot less weight as well. Ah, so how important is weight? Not sure. Bazooka, I don't like the I don't like explosives like that, bazooka. Alright, we probably want something to go on um our our left, right? To go with our we don't have anything on there yet. Standard pulse shield developed by Takigawa Harmonix, generally unremarkable in terms of performance, but is well balanced for its low EN footprint. It also offers a relatively long initial guard duration for ease of use. Four cell missile, another missile launcher. Hmm. Compact two cell dual missile launcher developed by Furlong Dynamics traps targets in pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. This model is suitable for use with lightweight builds and is capable of multi lock. All right, so do we want the shield? Damage mitigation 45. You know, I don't think we want the shield. I think we probably want the, the missile launcher. Um, we can afford it. Is there something better to get? Head. Ooh. AP. Attitude stability? Oh, do we have to fight against being an edgelord? Like, what, what does all this mean? Maybe the training helps. Head is very important to get. I, I mean, I agree, but what about in the game? Alright, combat fundamentals. Uh, maybe it's going to tell us here. Some weapons are capable of charge attacks, which exhibit different properties of behavior compared to regular attacks. RT, hold, use right weapon. Hold, RT, right weapon, charge attack. During charge, Y cancels it. Okay. The ACS attitude control system of a craft can be compromised by accumulated strain from the impact of repeated attacks. ACS overload results in a vulnerable state called stagger. Oh, that's what we did to the boss. During which time the afflicted craft will be 
immobilized and susceptible to critical damage. Hold RT, charge, weapon charge attack. Okay, and then weapon. During stagger, all incoming attacks are treated as direct hits and deal much more damage. Okay. Is Joe actually gonna do a playthrough of Persona 5 Royal or is that just a meme? I never did figure out which one it was. Uh, yeah, we will eventually, probably sometime next year. ACS strain inflicted on enemies resets after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Weapons vary in the amount of cumulative strain they inflict, with explosive impact generally leaving the most ACS strain. Hmm. So that's what the impact stat was on the list, um, is to do stagger damage. Okay. you can knock them into stagger with the first melee hit and then hit them with the second one. Attacks on enemies that are unaware of your presence will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. Right hand weapon. Okay. I like this gun. Can I have this gun? Is that the was that the the gauze one? I like this gun a lot. Shields equipped to the left shoulder can be deployed to reduce incoming damage and ACS strain. Okay, shields might be important then if we if there's going to be a lot of incoming damage that we can reduce like that. Shield output is maximized for one or two seconds after deployment. Ah, kind of like a pseudo parry. Blocking during this initial guard window can help to minimize incoming damage and ACS strain. Hold LB in response to warning initial guard. So, 215 damage if I don't do the initial guard. Still 215, was that too late? Still 215. What if I'm holding it way, like way before? 338, okay. So the timing is really generous on it. Oh, it's broken. Parts can break? Oh, it's back now. Salt boost rush attacks, small arms can be used during movement with, sorry, will inflict greater impact and impact you receive will be reduced. Okay.
Hmm. Is that the gun? Looks like it. Alright, I think that gun's better. Assembled an AC, thank you. Alright. Can be charged to fire burst shots. I think I like the one that we just had. Play video? Yep, it's a video. Oh, I guess the advantage of this is that because it has a lot of shots coming in a lot, it can do a lot of impact. Hmm. Alright. Alright, do we want to get a shield? Do we want another gun instead of the the sword? Can I put a sword on the right one? I'd like I'd like two swords, please. No, it's not letting me do that. It seems a good idea to get the shield right now. Excuse me. Let's get the shield. Did it automatically equip? All right. How important is um, is getting a different head? So this is a this is like okay. That's a big downgrade. That's a big upgrade. That's an even bigger upgrade. Nine ten four hundred. But the weight is a bit a bit up there. Current load. Current EN load. All right. I don't know what that means. Um. Play tutorial. Total load is a proportion of the maximum load. The AC cannot sort to you if this value exceeds the limit. The OS upgrade weight control can bypass this restriction. EN load is proportional of EN output. The AC cannot cannot sort to you if this value exceeds this limit. Uh, boost speeds. All right, that's not going to change. Um, attitude stability is if we're going to get staggered. Defensive performance is probably just passive when we're taking damage and AP is our, is our, is our health. Okay. Um, I think maybe we should upgrade it. It seems like it's, it's, it's pretty good. Why is this one so much more expensive compared to the other one? Is it less weight? It's only a little bit less. It's got more yen load. That's weird. Why is it so much more expensive? Line 10, 400, system recovery. It's got slightly better system recovery. It looks cool. It does look cooler. That's true. I'm actually straight up tempted to get it because it looks cooler. Even though this one is, um, is, is better, it looks like. Press Y to find out. Thank you, Chatter. It all makes sense to me now. So it has more scan distance. Is that why? Scan distance might be better, actually. Let's get it. All right, and did it did it auto equip? It didn't. Oh god. Our decals, no. Oh no. Oh, oh th this is the game, isn't it? This this is the game. And 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 this th this is just how you you get your points to play the game.
Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dafung, a Balaam company, and a competitor. Grid 135 is a key foothold in Archibus's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. The Archibus group looks forward to news of your success. How do you not know what this is? Yeah, Pacific Rim. Damn, yeah, of course. Alright, I don't think our shield is on. Boomer music? Really? Sad they never made a sequel. It wasn't that bad. It was pretty bad. If whatever ranking Pacific Rim 1 is, Pacific Rim 2 is like a full three points below it. But it wasn't like like one out of 10. Like it was, it was okay. Everyone just flates Del Toro is, is, what's, is what's going on here. A lot of you have not seen an actual bad movie, and it shows. Main system, activating combat mode. <laughs> Commence mission. Wipe out the Dafung MT squad. Wait, we're here again. Why, why are we reusing the same map? Been hit. Oh no. Looks like reinforcements. Eliminate them. Uh oh. Alright, we're good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we the bad guy? The enemy MT squad has been eliminated. Can you crank up the music so the beeping is gone? There's music? What was the best VN you played on stream, Joe? Um, I've never played a VN on stream, sorry. I've read a VN. The best VN that we've read? I don't know actually, what's the best VN that we've read? Call sign, Raven. 
Your records have been updated. You have also been granted access to participate in the Log Hunt program. Well, finally. We kindly request that you submit combat logs after destroying designated craft. All Mind will reward you with parts based on the number of submissions you provide. Hey, uh, Raven here. Yeah, totally Raven. Here's my combat log. You've uh, been invited to join the Log Hunt, one of All Mind's mercenary support programs. All right, discover and destroy targets marked with the log hunt target icon to obtain combat logs for submission. Okay. When do I know if the if the uh, if the store has updated with new shit to buy? Is it gonna say new items available, or do I have to check every single time? It's gonna have to say new items available, right? It does say that's good. All right, destroy the tester AC or destroy the transport helicopters. All right, so so far these first three missions have been pretty dull. I, I'm 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 enjoying the movement and I'm getting into the flow a little bit with um with weaving attacks and stuff. But like these missions, I guess they're they're starting slow or whatever. But kind of weird. I don't know. Don't know really what they're thinking here. Uh, thank you to Tonberry Shortcakes for the resub. Thank you very much, Tonberry. Still a banger name. Got a job for you, 621. The Balaam Group sent a request. And their regards. Raven, this request comes from Dafa, one of our affiliates. The group has committed to use of military force to handle the Rubicon Liberation Front. Target for this mission is a squad of transport choppers. Destroy them. You'll encounter guerrilla resistance from Baus Mass Produce MTs. They're no great concern. Okay. You performed adequately in your last sortie, Raven. This did not go unnoticed. Almost like you're a new person. We will be watching with interest to see what you bring to the team. Oh yeah, moving up in the world. All right, that's cool. What was that noise? Now they're asking for you by name. Keep building your rep. <laughs> Main system activating combat mode. Mission. This is the same map still. The Rubicon Liberation Front transport choppers. We're under attack. It's a corporate merc. Intercept. Keep them off the supply. Confirmed. Transport chopper down. Yeah. Thanks, Chief. Man, these trees look so bad. Oh, oh, oh. I'm deleting your choppers. Whoa. That sucked.
Oh no! How are you not dead? Thanks, Chief. That enemy was fun to fight. That's it. Uh, sorry, Armored Core fans, are you in the chat right now going, oh my god, they really captured the heart of the series? Like, is this what it's supposed to be? Like, well, what's going on? Like, what? Like, yes? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the log hunt shit. You need regular breaks to get back to the real game, which is building your mech. The corpse see the Liberation Front as a hindrance to expanding their coral survey. But to the Rubiconians, your actions are only helping the corpse with their invasion. Oh no. It's just a job, 621. All of it. Okay, I don't think it said there are new, there are new parts, right? Okay. Do we ever get out of the mech? To all independent mercenaries. Go eat some food this or something? This request comes from Schneider of the Archivist Group. Dafung, one of our adversaries allied with Balaam, has introduced a new tester AC. It's a sample model from an external architect, featuring extensive assembly optimizations. Pewter? In the hands of an experienced pilot, it will pose a threat far too great to ignore. This brings me to the request. Intercept delivery of the tester AC. And destroy it. You are the man. Are this you? Group looks forward to news of your success. Yeah, that, that's true. I'm not sure. Are, are we just like uh, like a it's mind in a hunt. machine, or are we like a, a person piloting the mech? Like I don't know what we are. Maybe, maybe we are the mech. What's the lore? Get Vadi Vidya on the phone. I need to know. The target may be a product sample, but it's still an AC. Stay sharp, six two. So the game has one map. All right. Oh damn, what the fuck?
We died. We died. Okay. So a couple times there, I went to do dodge, and instead I fired missiles. Let's remember the buttons. I died. He has a sword too. Yeah, and when he came in to hit me, instead I tried to dodge and I hit RB, thinking that was dodge for some reason. I don't know what fucking game we just played that RB is what I think dodge is. I've been doing that with the uh, with the range attack, so that's weird. he was on breaking point. What happened there? Did I misread his stun there? I guess I must have. Okay, so if I go into attack with sword, he can dodge back and then he will hit me back. So if I want to hit him with a sword, I have to be absolutely certain that I, I'm going to get it. Maybe I have to stagger him first. So it's like Elden Ring. Okay. You damaged him a lot. Well, when I did it, he he jumped up in the air and encountered me. Activating combat mode. Commence mission. We've got a read on the target. Now's the time. Six two one. We're under attack. Must be the locals. No, it's an independent. That pilot's just a tree. Yeah, what did he do there? He like he like knocked me away. How do I do that? I'm assuming I can do everything he can do. Man, what a dick. I feel like your character is evil as fuck. Uh, why can we hear him? We're tapping into his comms, maybe? Thank you to Xhume125 for the new sub. Welcome, Xhume. Thank you very much. And thank you, VJ Heights, for the resub. Walter. Uh oh. Your hound's been up in my business. I'm surprised you'd even dare to call. Michigan, about my proposal. Yeah, you sure about that? I'll be working your hound just as hard as any other red gun. Gen 4s can be emotionally withdrawn. They need a shot in the arm every now and then. Then you got a deal. I'll send Volta to Guasu. They'll give your latest hound a proper red gun welcome. Alright. Thank you, VJ Hyde. Sorry, the, the game cut me off and I was saying thank you there. One new message. 
621 about the tester AC you downed. He had a family. That was being shipped <laughs> to the Red Guns. Baylor's <laughs> in-house AC squad. They're Baylor's main force, and its members are no amateurs. Remember who you're messing with. I think this game is on brand for the for, for From Software. Extremely well made, decent game. Chat's being kind of weird today. What's going on? Oh, new area? Oh. Two new areas? There's more parts than Shabby haven't looked at yet. Is it? I thought we looked at everything in the story. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Check the briefing. Heard the good news from Walter, did ya? Good. Sit your ass down and listen. Balaam's moving in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit beg for mercy. I'll be sending two good-for-nothing maggots from the Red Guns, Gun 4 Volta and Gun 5 Iguasu. You? You're just gonna be tagging along on ass-wiping duty. I'm assigning you the call sign Gun 13, a lucky little number that just became available. Gun 13, sound off! Hoo-ha! Good enough. All right. Now go get ready! We're going on a field trip, kiddo! All right, so this game is not at all what I thought it was gonna be. This, this is... These mission briefing things are the weirdest part so far. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. I like Gun 13 better. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. Main system, activating combat mode. New map by Pog! New map! AC squad red guns reporting for duty. Commence mission. Attack! Get in there, you maggots! Great. An independent merc. This is the wise guy who decided the red guns should be taking care of some freelance. Who gives a shit? We'll handle this mission ourselves. Oh crap. Well, free the red guns are gonna go climb the wall. This is just target practice. When we're done, the local's little base is next. Good five. Can't take yourself away from chatting with a tag along. Well, I'm having fun. Sometimes we have more movement off of the uh, the dash into the to the sword thing. The hmm, okay. The game controls pretty well. I like that, but I'm not sure about the the combat. The combat's kind of weirdly floaty and spammy, but maybe you get used to it. Talking, please. Is it me or the game?
share me, you corporate vultures. The Rubiconians Whoa, shit. You're going home in armored coffins. Forge to Nash. That's armored core, not armored coffin. Hot dog, they got an AC. More like an old piece of junk. It's barely different from an empty. Good fool. No. The girl a jam. You wretched vultures. We done? All right, we're done. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's... One new message. <laughs> you got lucky, Merc. You were the only warm body they could find. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Oh my god, who cares? Have fun watching from the sidelines. Alright. Can't wait to kill you later. Emblem acquired. Alright, apparently there were some parts in the part shop that I missed. Oh, the arms and legs after here. Okay. Uh, is it getter? I think we went down here. I didn't. I didn't inspect them. Second generation FCS developed by Furlong Dynamics. What does this do? Okay. So this is less stamina for higher recharge, but it's really heavy. This has better thrust, but it's a bit heavy. Uh, I feel like we're we're close to unlocking some new stuff, so let's let's save our money. Destroy the weaponized mining ship. Are these cool bosses in the game? We've seen two bosses so far. One was a big like gunship thing, and the other one was another mess like we are. comes from Schneider, an Archibus subsidiary. The mission will take place in the Bonadea dunes of Western Bellius. Our coral investigation there is being blocked by the Strider, a Rubicon Liberation Front mining ship. You are to destroy it. This voice sounds familiar. The Strider is a mobile resource base that was extensively weaponized by the Liberation Front. Call it the crowning glory of their efforts to militarize into an anti-corporate force. Your attack will focus on the eye, a giant laser cannon connected directly to the main generator. It's protected by a shield, which is powered by auxiliary sub-generators. These should be your first targets. It's Yusuke? Oh, this damn. concludes the briefing. Good luck. Oh, oh, oh that's it. Oh, okay. That was like really far away and all of a sudden it fucking wasn't. Holy shit. Picking up a surge of energy to the eye. Watch out. 
Yeah, that moves so fast. All right, what do I do? Do I hide? Do I did dodge. Wrong direction? Abide with Rubicon. Ah! You didn't even go through the fucking hill! What? Alright, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I stand here. You can't get me. Shit. Yeah, you can. Alright. Did it hit my head when it stuck over the hill, or does it just go through objects and you have to dodge it? Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the strider. Like if I if I hide under behind here, will it be able to hit me? I want to find out. An unidentified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Activate the eye. Burn them away. Yes, sir. Coral, abide with Rubicon. Abide with Rubicon. Yeah, it's not high enough. All right, what if I hide behind this? This is high enough. All right, let's see. I'm picking up a surge of energy to the eye. Watch out! All right, fair play. It broke the the boulder. Fair play. Alright, this time I'm behind a whole ass, like, terrain. Alright, so yeah, some, th some things are breakable, some things aren't. I'm not locked on. Okay. Oh man, look at this thing. Oh, that's cool. Okay. 
this should have been the first mission. This is cool as shit. For the cause! Oh sh! You're shooting yourself! Okay, do I know where they are? Are they the red? The red are enemies, right? Whoops. Why am I being face pumped? So far it's been blue for the targets, is it not? Okay, I thought they were enemies. Alright, I'll go do it. Hasn't, haven't they been blue so far for the objectives? No, I think they have been. Alright, it's right here. Alright, and the other one's like far Just below? The Strider is the flagship of our war. Hold the line. Defend the ship with your line. Yay. What? Why can't I go back down to the sand? Alright, that's kind of weird. Oh shit. Now you've got the target in your sights. Yeah, um, there's a problem with that. Go down. Let's heal. Almost. For fuck's sake. <laughs> miss, miss time one dodge and then you just eat all the missiles? Holy shit. Don't get me wrong, skill issue, but holy shit. Burn the coral plunderer. 
Um, how the hell did that work there? No. Thought I could kill it in time. Thought I could kill it in time. Takes a while to reload, huh? Alright, if I hide down here, he can't get me with his laser, right? He can somehow, alright? Thank you, you're pretty cool. Okay, that was neat. I think that should have been the opening mission. It's missing some flourish like toaster slaughtered. That would have been pretty good, yeah. Will you snail? You do realize that disposing of some liberation front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog sitter. The answer is no. Whoa. I hear you're deploying V1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Glass houses, Walter. Oh. Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V4. Very weird. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. One new message. on the Strider deserves commendation. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. New exercise data added to training. New parts are now available. Ah, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, oh ho. All right, is there a new, uh, what the hell's that? 
plasma rifle developed by VCPL. Plasma explosions create a damage inflicted area that remains active for a brief period of time. All right. Um, I like. Is there like a better version of the gun we're using right now? How do? I, is there like a compare button? Toggle display. Compare. All right. So we can charge this and fire it. This looks pretty good. Press X. I, d I did press X. This is this is press X. Is it press X here? No, it just play that just plays the video. Uh, what are we using? We are using the LR zero three six Curtis. All right. So I'm guessing we could just go and we should should be able to tell that it's a new weapon by just, just by comparing the stats. Alright, so laser rifle. So it does more damage, less impact, but not that much less. Fewer total rounds, that's not bad. Weight is better. EN load is worse. Um, it's a lot more damage. I think we're going to take it. Alright, and now we want to... There's no new sword, I don't think. Laser cannon. Oh, that's interesting. That does a lot of damage. Do we want the laser cannon instead of the uh, the missiles? We also have a laser cannon on the left side. We're not really using the shield all that much because I keep forgetting I have it. Am I going to remember that we have a laser cannon? Oh, we're almost on our EN load with that though. Let's see if, if there's some better shit to buy over here. Okay, better legs. Way better jump distance and jump height. Wow, huge increase to jump height and jump distance. Damn. This is if we don't want to jump. Melee attack thrust. Generator. Generator might be good to have. I think I would like to have more EN, and it's not too much less capacity, but it's putting our weight up. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Do we want this? Second generation EN load, close range assist. What does this do? Better lock on? Missile locker. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't really care about that all that much. It's fine. Do we want a better booster? Better booster is going to be. It's worse A B thrust, but not that much worse. Everything else seems a bit better. Let's do that. All right. There we go. Did they all automatically equip? That did. And we want... Oh, EN shortfall! Oh, no! Uh-oh! Let's just take the shield off. There we go. Done. All right, is there a new tutorial? Assembling an AC and reverse jointed ACs. Thank you to Asa Gohan for the resub. Thank you very much, Gohan. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons to both hands. This is known as the double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assembles assemblies using machine guns or similar weapons can destroy multiple can, sorry, can destroy enemies at a reliable pace and are suited for taking on multiple enemies at once.
The mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters installed. This AC is fitted with boosters that have a short QB reload time spec, which allows it, it allows it to outpace enemies with consecutive quick boost usage. Generators and basic specs. The generator installed to your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance of the AC. This AC is equipped with the generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow an extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boosts. FCS and engagement distance. The FCS fire control system installed to the AC affects target tracking at close, medium, long range, and missile lock on multi lock time. This AC is equipped with an FCS that is specialized for close range combat, allowing it to reliably land attacks with its high firepower weapons. The hell is that? Like a gauze rifle? Weapons the selection of parts used to assemble the NAC determines ideal combat range and style. This AC is equipped with four range weapons to specialize in concentrated fire and medium range. Hold RT. Okay, yeah, I got it. Oh, we didn't lock on. Parts obtained, a booster, an A-Bot, a generator. Oh man, good thing we didn't just buy those. All right, so the one we got is better for recharge. Oh wow, the capacity goes up real hard, huh? So the parts we're gonna get later on. So this is definitely gonna be a gear game. Probably skill game too, but it looks like it's definitely going to be a gear game. That's a huge, huge change there. Alright, what does this do? Close range assist. Uh, I'm good actually. Boosters. So this has way better thrust. Not so much upward thrust. Oh, it's going to put our EN load. It's going to blow our EN load. Never mind. Alright, what's the other tutorial? You can sell things for 100%. Oh, that's good. Reverse joint leg units excel at jumping and can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boosts. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that do not consume EN, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats and shift to aerial combat. Left shoulder grenade cannon on this AC fires explosive rounds that cause area damage upon impact. When using weapons of this nature, you can exploit area damage to great effect by firing at the ground from an aerial position. Alright, let's do it. some like EMP cannon or something here. 
Weapons fall into one of three categories depending on the type of damage they inflict. Kinetic, Explosive, Energy. The defensive performance of ACs and other craft varies for each of these damage types determining the susceptibility or resistance. Oh man. Really makes you wonder if we just kind of like Stockholm syndromed our way into thinking that like the From Soul, the Souls games are like purely skill based, or if they wanted you to play a gear and we just found a way to just force it to do it like Soul Level One and shit. Like like seriously, like holy fuck! Energy weapons produce heat when fired, and this can ultimately result in overheating. When overheated, the weapon kit will be temporarily disabled, and functionality will be regained once the weapon has been allowed to cool. Avoid overheating by monitoring your rate of fire. All right, where is that? It's overheated in the bottom. Alright, so it's overheated. Alright, so is there any way to see that it's overheating before it gets... It, it's done? Oh, it's right there in the bottom right. I'm pointing to it. See where I'm pointing? Red going up on the bottom right around the circle in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Ricochets. Ricocheting will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. To counteract this, try attacking at a closer range or switch to explosive weapons. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really know what it just said to me. I can't believe that the circle just stays on the screen the whole time. This is so weird. It's like so like in your face. Laser handgun. Really? We didn't get legs from that? Alright. That's that done, right? Okay. I like that it gives you free stuff. Operation Wall Climber. All right, well, before that, I'm gonna be Operation Sink Pisser, so I'll be right back. Five minutes, if you've been sitting the whole time, please get up and walk around. See you soon.
All right, I'm back. All right, so we've been playing the game for two hours so far. Um, I I don't hate it, but I don't really like it all that much either. I'm kind of neutral about it. It's kind of whatever. Um, if I wasn't streaming it, I don't know if I would continue playing at this point. Maybe I would because like I would I had bought the game. I want to see if there's something here to enjoy. Probably as a as a, like a critic or whatever, I would continue playing it just to just to, to see what I could get out of it. But as like a, a player like who's playing games for my own personal enjoyment. Um, I'm not sure if I, w I would continue. Um, I don't know. I feel like there just isn't really that much going on in the combat so far. Hopefully they add to the complexity, but I'm worried with all this stuff about the mechs that the complexity is going to come from. Like, learn a fairly straightforward short mission and then kit yourself out to get the perfect score like gear yourself out like ooh, what if i went with this mech Ooh, what if i went with this gun what if i went with the mech that could do jumping attacks and aerial attacks and that sort of thing um i don't know if that's the case so we'll find out maybe the complexity ramps up as we go through i'm not sure but i'm also worried that if there is a lot of complexity when it comes to the combat that a lot of it is still going to be baked in on the bring the right mech for the mission and I hate doing that shit. I, I hate tooling my my uh, character to do something. I'd rather, I like to find gameplay options that I find fun, like a weapon type, a gun type, a mobility option, those kind of things. And then I, and I like, I find this loadout fun and now I want to use that loadout in almost every single situation. So if if I have to like, oh, this mission, you need to have like a like crazy aerial dude. I'm gonna be like, yeah, but can I do it with my other mech? No. Well, then I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. Unless for whatever reason, this game it turns out that I do like um, changing my mechs, but I doubt it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's not a good mentality for this game. Well, like, how am I supposed to know that? Uh oh, the music's gone. How's the difficulty? Well, I died a couple times, but it doesn't seem too bad. Hold on, I need to make some nano weave. complexity now because it looks like we like this this mission brief had like directions that's interesting well this is okay to ask would you stream fear and hunger there's a mod that hides the naughty bits and scenes what's the point of playing it if we're not gonna have the naughty bits in the scenes i think that's allowed isn't it like on switch as long as it's not like the the whole point of the game it looks interesting to me System activating combat mode. 
Uh, I see some mods timing out some messages. Uh, if that's because I said chat is being weird today, I hope that's not the case. Like when I said it's weird, it didn't mean that it was bad. It just kind of, kind of got a weird vibe coming from chat. But chat seems to be doing fine. It's okay. Commence mission. We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city and the Bows Tetrapod MT further in. Oh, one second. Sorry. for tea delivery with a, with maybe a little bit of a lisp? No. Okay. I don't know how to do that, sorry. Time for tea delivery! I'm not good with lisp. <laughs> yes and no. Fear and Hunger, I think, has some really good ideas with not great execution. I think Fear and Hunger 2 is a much better game overall. There's the second one! Does Lily even get the Pro ZD reference? Um, she actually really likes Pro ZD. I don't know if she knows that one, though. She might not know that one. I'll show her later and see if she recognizes it. Sorry, my uh, window was gone. Thank you, Barry Relativity, for the resub. Thank you very much, Barry. Barry, Barry. Fire coming from up top. Where are we going? Keep an eye out for cover. See, the object is blue this time. And then they turn red. Okay, that was the mistake then. All right. Whoa, holy shit. God damn it, man. Whoops, wrong button. Alright, seriously, what is with the, like, I'm going in for a melee attack and they just kind of dodge back and say, fuck you, not today? Hmm. Melee attack seems not worth it at all. Half the stun before using it. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city and the Bows Tetrapod MT further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. Oh god damn it. Six two one. Keep an eye on the cover. You'll never climb a wall, Corporation Dog. Coral, a mine with Rubicon. Okay, we're supposed to go down here, kind of like a trench to go up and go this other way. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So drop down. Yeah, these buildings feel like like toys. It's like we're it's like we're a normal size like like person in a robot like walking around like a like a miniature world, you know? Like 
There's something wrong with the scale here, but maybe maybe it's not right. Maybe it's not possible to do that properly. I don't know. I can't think of a game that's done it right from this perspective, so. Was I locked onto the thing up there? What am I supposed to do? Got him. Hmm. I, I don't understand the dodging in this game. I need to learn. Dodging has no iframes. I'm not. I'm not expecting it to have iframes. Um, I wasn't even thinking about iframes. I just don't have the timing right. Like sometimes I'm getting hit by like a uh, like a, a machine gun barrage, and I, I'm like I'm out of fucking energy before I can dodge well. Maybe I need to work on positioning instead. Last time? Fly Sherpa. Supplies are replenished. Oh, we get our repair kits back. Alright, so when it said earlier that you only get three permission, that was a fucking lie. Alright, cool, thanks. Uh-oh. Thank you to Java Man Jojo for the resub. Welcome, Jojo. Java you Man. must be Raven. Oh, his looks cool. One of the infamous handler Walter sounds. Interesting. You ready to climb the wall? We did already.
what, what, what the fuck was that, dude? Why did he just fucking, like, rocket boost when I hit, held down melee? Did I accidentally, like, fat thumb the analog stick? What the It really didn't feel like it. What the fuck was that? Understood. Raven, I just got an update from Snail in command. Oh no, not Snail. We've got enemy reinforcements incoming. If I don't intercept them, we're both toast. I hate to leave you like this, but you'll have to finish without me. He's gone. So much for our decoy. Whoa, what the I'm a little annoyed at how sometimes when you hold the button to do a melee, he has more travel time than others. What am I doing wrong there? Thanks, game. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. Ned won't be able to keep up with Steel Hanks. I'll distract him while you get his blind spot. Watch out. It's coming. Whoa, whoa, why the fuck did that all work? God damn! I went to a mine. Just to be clear, chat. When I'm saying like, whoa, 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 that fuck did not not work. Um, that's not that's not me saying the game is fucking up. It's like I don't understand something. Maybe the game is fucking up. It's my assumption right now is I'm fucking up. That's the juggernaut, the heavy mobile cannon. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. It won't be able to keep up with Steel Haze. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot.
Alright, that doesn't seem right to me. Like, right in front of him, he does that? Mm, okay. I am trying to get on, on his back, though, and failing. Auto aim? Do, 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 do. It seems he knew who you really are. Uh oh. It won't matter. I've taken that contingency into account. Wait, by that do you mean he knows that we're not Raven, or that he knew Raven before Raven went MIA? Who you really are? That that means we're probably he probably knows that we're not Raven. Okay. That fight was kind of fun. Have you seen the Factorio DLC teaser reel put out today? I did, yeah, it's interesting. I'll play it for sure when it comes out. One new message. We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. During Operation Wall Climber, Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. But instead, you took the wall. The higher-ups are going to remember you now, that's for sure. As will I. Thank you. Oh boy, more training. There's a mosquito in here. All right, new parts. Let's do training first. Oh man, holy crap, all the training. How much money would it take 
for your stream space exploration playthrough over or under a, a mil? It's around a mil, yeah, because it would be like a whole year of streaming, right? So, <laughs> and there's no way people are going to watch that. So, yeah, I would need the money up front, you know, commission. Uh, in air hover mode, high loading capacity and enable AC builds equipped with he multiple heavy weapons. Such a body ACs can hover in hover mode after ascending from the air. Allow them to suspend the air for some time. All right. They fly now? Charge attacks and fire from heavy weapons such as grenade launchers cause more recoil than other attacks, forcing the AC to assume a firing stance. Tetrapods are capable of absorbing this kind of recoil, allowing these attacks to be executed during movement. Oh! They're a bit slow, though. allows you to maintain a high altitude, in turn making it easier to establish a line of fire and lock on without geographical obstruction. Grenade launcher. I, I'm not really a big fan of those. Uh, the hovering is fun, but it's a bit too slow, and I feel like you're just going to be a free target um, while you're while you're hovering. But maybe they uh, they get better. Tank. Tank-like units are heavily armored and boast excellent loading uh, capacity. In addition to lending themselves to highly durable builds, they are also good candidates for high firepower assemblies. Tank-type ACs are capable of absorbing recoil, which allows them to fire heavy weapons without entering a fire stance. Ooh, they're fast! Oh, look at this! That's cool. Tank type ACs can drift quickly, quickly to change the direction they are facing. To execute a drift, move L in the direction you want to face immediately after a quick boost. What? You can drift now? What are we, a Joy-Con? What the fuck are you talking about? Snake, do you think Joe can die in a tutorial?
That's kind of neat. I like that. That's definitely better than the hover one. What? Even more. Mercenary certification. Past certification. This year's simulator for advanced military certification is provided by All Mind. All right. During real missions, you, you can expect enemy reinforcements and other changes to the situation. The, te the test of an advanced mercenary is their ability to adjust to a wide range of combat scenarios and adapt their AC assembly to meet the needs of the mission. How would I know the needs without, without doing the mission? What time paradox is this? Why would you with Was I locked on? Like I thought it was like the one closest to the center of the screen or whatever. What the fuck was that? Holy shit. Easy game, easy life. Didn't even break a sweat. Cleared all training programs. Alright, that's good. Congratulations on your certification. Thank you, All Mind. You have proven your skills by completing the entire combat training regimen. Thank you, Jill. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. All Mind anticipates excellent performance. Sixth game in the franchise. I'm glad they're trying something different. Oh, were the other ones good? Oh, I see. Okay. Let's buy some, some shit. What's this? Pulse gun. Oh. That looks weird, doesn't it? Laser blade. Alright, that's what we have. Oh, it's different! Oh, -ho. oh, so this is only one hit instead of two. Honestly, we kind of charge rather than do multiple hits, right? Maybe this is better? That's a lot more damage. And, and more impact. I'm, I'm a little tempted. 
Let's do it. What do we got to lose? How do we increase our EN? Legs? Load limit. Yeah, there we go. Right? That's got to be it. We want better legs. EN oh, it comes from generator. Oh, we have a better generator right now. What am I hitting then? Is it current load? What am I doing? Current E. So there's load, which is legs, and there's EN load, which is generator. Interesting. All right, so EN capacity. That doesn't really increase our. Oh, it does. It's to, to the bottom right. Okay, so EN output, weight. All right, that's really low recharge though. That kind of sucks. I kind of want one that's more balanced. That one maybe. Post recovery EN supply. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? The amount of EN that is immediately recharged after generator EN supply has been restored. Let's go for it. And let's get better legs. What what legs do we want? I just want a better version of the legs that we're using right now. So something that's just like better in every way. Altitude, AP, load limit. That seems better, right? It's heavier though. That one seems to be the most balanced one. We're losing a little bit of stability and boost speed, but we're gaining some load. That's just so much better load, but it's heavier. Does that mean we're gonna be moving slower? Boost, eh, it's not that much slower boost speed. Let's get this. All right, so we'll put those on. And we want to put the new engine, which is this one, right? This is the new engine we got? No. This one is the new one that we got? Yeah, this one. Alright, so now we're good. Alright, did we get a new uh, chest? I don't think so. Alright, we got a new sword. Laser blade. And we like this gun, and we can put something on the back unit again now. Vertical missile launcher, I guess? That might be fun. Yeah, let's do it. Alright. That's good. Is there anything obvious I should be changing here, Chad? Or are we good? expansion does oh uh, make jobs visible okay one second Combat logs and investigate boss arsenal number two. All right, let's do these. Got a job for you, six two one. One of the Balaam companies has put in a request. Two 
Bridge, Gun 13 Raven. This request comes from our affiliate Dafung. We're conducting an investigation into the Vespers, Archibus's augmented human squad. Currently, our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they stationed their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. As such, he'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. So, same map? Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. That concludes the briefing. Okay. We expect prompt results, Gun 13. Imagine giving a shit. Just imagine. Imagine. I know something I do give a shit about, though. Saying thank you to people. Thank you to uh, Irina112 for the resub. Thank you, Seema. Jenny. Talia. Oh, that's a weird name. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you very much. Welcome, Jenny. Are you friends with Dalmec, perchance? Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Animated Huey, for the resub as well. Thank you very much. Six two one. You should be used to Rubicon by now. Time to take a break from shooting up the place. What? Am I using a sword? What do you mean? Do, 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 activating combat mode. Commence mission. Search oh, there's a time for combat logs recording engagements with V4 Rusty. That's what we're looking for, 621. I'll analyze it on my end. System log extracted from Iraq allows one to examine. Uh, the operation for crafts. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, I just straight up don't care. Am I supposed to look for them with my eyes, or do they, like... How far out? Could it be, like, all the way over there? Is that one? Looks like it, maybe? Wait. Stop! What are you doing here? Looks like they're out scavenging. I'm just checking. They're still dangerous. Very interesting. This could be worth something. Now what? You, AC pilot. Oh, okay. You're no comrade of ours, are you? Wait, you. You killed them all. Operation Front Survivor. I'll just hold us up if you engage her. The mission comes before everything else. Keep an eye on the clock. Either avoid combat or make it. Dog! Go! Leave Rubicon alone! 
What the? Did we, We've we got, got seven wrecks. Request. All right, we did it. That's it for this job, six, two, one. How many two were there? Points. Eight? Hmm. Ammunition costs. It's expensive running an AC. Obtain 10 data logs. All right, thank you, Achievement. Two new messages. Kind of looking forward to Starfield next week. I hope it's fun. Go 13 Raven. Bagged us some decent intel on V4. I'll report this to Commander Michigan. Additionally, I'll introduce myself. Gun 6 Red. But you can call me Sir. Privilege to be among Balaam's best, even if I am stuck whipping you independence into shape. Believe you me, I'm gonna put you to work. So we all agree this is terrible, right? I'm not talking about the game, I'm talking about this part. Like the, the whole like talking to you with sound waves. Like this is like what even is this? Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your records have been updated. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Additional. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Uh-oh. The Arena is a virtual combat simulator designed to support the development of registered mercenaries. It also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries... Some people in chat kind of like it. That's fair. We look forward to your participation. Okay, so is this, uh, is this PvP? Fight virtual battles against copies of ACs created using all men's mercenary craft data in the arena menu? Oh, no, it's not. Is it, it's rematches against enemies that we've already killed? Oh. Okay. Fair amount of money, actually. Expend o OST chips in your possession to upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tuning menu. A really OS unlocks features and improves functionality. Oh no. Oh no, it's important. Oh man. What the fuck? Alright, so I have to go back and get more of these then to fight more of them? Like. Alright, let's try one. Hey, just join. How you liking the game so far? Eh, mostly neutral on it. It's not bad, but it's not it's not great. First subject AC, Mad Stomp. Call sign, Invincible Rummy. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Oh man. Target destroyed. That was not evaluation. difficult. Well done. Hmm, okay. Okay, so we got OST chips. Alright. What the hell is with that floor texture? It's a VR space, so it's um you know. It looks how it is. 
Alright, so that's done. So we can just keep fighting this over and over and over and over and over again to grind money fairly quickly. Alright. We also just do missions over and over and over again, I'm guessing? Alright. Is Hi-Fi Rush or Resident Evil 4 your, your game of the year so far, or neither? Probably Hi-Fi Rush, yeah. I think that's the most fun I had. Aptitude evaluation program. Number 28, rank F. Oh, they're not all in the same room. Subject AC, burn pickaxe. Call sign, Index Dunham. F. Looks like Optimus Grime. Here we go! Excuse me. Am I ever gonna get a good night's sleep ever again, chat? How many streams of Starfield are you planning? I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll finish it, maybe we'll just stream it for a couple days. I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know if we're gonna finish this game. I feel like we're moving through it uh, fairly quickly. There's not that many interruptions when it comes to talking the chat here, because we're just kind of focused on playing the game, checking it out, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Do you enjoy the dual fights? They're okay, yeah. I don't know, I just, I just feel like there's not enough... There's not enough here for me. There's not enough reactivity and there's not enough proactivity here. It's not the void of that. I don't know. I just... Arena combat aptitude evaluation it's not clicking with me, man. What's your fave Dark Souls game? Evaluation. For first playthrough, Magic, the first one. Dark Souls 1 is just an amazing ex first Subject experience. AC. To replay now, Dark Souls 3. Gun six, red. Commencing evaluation. Would you ever stream Spelunky 2? I think you'd really like it. Maybe. I played the first one quite a bit. I had a love-hate relationship with it. Sugar. Bobbins, man. Bobbins. Alright, we got him. Did Finn beat Dark Souls? He beat ONS, and then he beat Painted Worlds, and since then he's been playing Vampire Survivors. So I think he's kind of fallen out with, uh, with, uh, Dark Souls a bit. Are you going to be playing Viewfinder? I don't- I have no plans to play Viewfinder at this time. But maybe. We're in Q&A mode, huh? Damn. I think making a point to use your shoulder weapons on CD will add a lot for you. Use them both at the same time. I've, I'm trying to use them a little bit more in these fights, but I do forget to do them, yeah. Favorite color? Green. Incoming cars. Thoughts on Metro Prime 2? Really like it. Very good game. We'll like to play it again sometime. Congratulations. You have surpassed rank F. Yeah. glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All mind exists for all mercenaries. Could we get an Armored Core spoiler chat in Jazz, please? If the mod team on Jazz tells me that we need one, I'll do one, sure. But I don't think we need one right now. But if the mod team disagrees, then sure, we can do that. So, we can't do, um, E? Okay. 
In Evolve Idol, how do I get plasmids? Resets only. You get them from resets, yeah, but you can also generate them um, as you do runs uh, through genetic sequencing, but that's not the primary way to get them. Like, you can get a couple from that, and it's fine, it's good, especially on 4 stars, but most of the time you want to get them from resets. Max your population and you'll get more. Alright, so let's do OS tuning. Alright, so I have no idea what this is, chat. Core expansions. Unlocks core expansion assault armor and allows it to be installed. Assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the AC, canceling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave. Unlocks pulse protection and allows it to be installed. Pulse protection creates a pulse barrier in a fixed position, providing cover for enemy fire until the barrier reaches its durability time limit. Uh, pulse armor creates a pulse barrier that trails the AC, dramatically increasing defensive performance until it exceeds the durability or time limit. Terminal armor automatically triggers a pulse barrier when the I'm I'm sensing a lot of pulse barriers when the AC's AP reaches its limit, greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability or time limit. When equipped, activates automatically when AP falls to zero. Okay, so this is what an extra life. If you if you die, that might be good. Attack control, fine tuning. All sources of of kinetic damage, excluding melee weapons. All right, so these these are damage boosts, explosive damage, energy damage, uh, all sources of melee damage, uh, direct hit damage, and improves object access speed by optimizing hacking and override function. Oh, what what the fuck is that? Is that just like interacting with with things? Damage control. Repair kits. Oh, more more out of your repair kits. Damage mitigation, improves precision. So that's just just less damage. All right, what's this? System unlocks. All right. Unlocks the ability to perform a boost kick. Boost kick hits with heavy impact by combining the um, the, the speed of an assault boost with the sheer weight of the AC. L during assault boost. Boost kick. That sounds like it might be good. Weapon bay. Unlocks the weapon bay feature in AC shoulders, allowing shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. Oh. Unlocks the ability to to sortie when AC is overburdened and to manually purge weapons. What? I don't get it. Favorite Vocaloid? None of them. Manual aiming. Unlocks the ability to perform manual aiming. Allows for manual reticule control, but practical usage calls for experience technique. Okay. Unlocks the quick turn feature, allowing the AC to perform snap turns. Okay, that seems like it's a good one to get. And let's get boost kick. Alright, why would why would I want to do manual aiming? Does it do more damage or just more fun? If I reset, do I get them all back? So you spend a little bit of money and you get them back. Alright. Uh, is there anything really good I should be getting here, chat, that's going to make the game a lot better? Weapon bay or um, terminal? I can't afford that anymore. Attack control. I like to do the, the melee, but it's like 5% damage. Who gives a shit? It's 5%. Definitely get an expansion. Core expansion. Alright. Uh, pulse armor. It's the most expensive one. Assault armor is good. Okay. So L plus Y. Weapon bay allows you have two melee weapons. Oh yeah, it would, wouldn't it? That sounds fun. It didn't. It didn't! Wait, do I need to put it on? Wait, it didn't work. You need to buy one, duh? I need to buy one specifically for here. It's a separate tab in the left shoulder menu. Oh. Oh, okay.
Do we want a second laser blade? Honestly, I'm not really in love with the missiles, although they can be good. Alright, let's go. There's new shit at the shop. Ooh. Oh man. Maybe we should get this next. It's not too bad. Boost speed is not too much slower, and it's, and it's got a lot more shit. Should we sell something and buy this right now? Because, man, that is, that is quite the upgrade, is it not? Oh, booster efficiency. It's a big drop for that. Shit. That's not too bad. And it's also a big AP boost. Impressions of the game so far? I'm not really that impressed, but I am reserving judgment for when we play a little bit more. We're still early on. So far I like the boss battles and the, the um, duels more than anything else, but I'm not in love with them. I also don't like all the loading and all these mission briefings that are kind of shit. Oh, so we're like the planet slut. We'll do jobs for anybody. We'll just like be like, yeah, I'll blow up your dam, then I'll do a job for you, and I'll do... Okay, so... Okay. Next mission, we're going to be blowing up something else of theirs again. All right. What is with that weird noise? Literally mercenary. I don't think that if you're a mercenary, that it's a regular thing that you would go and just kill a bunch of people at a fucking camp, and then two days later the camp is like, you know what? Can we hire you this time? We hope it's okay. I, I don't. I don't think so. But what do I know? I'm a nerd. Hey, if they pay. I'm not talking about from the mercenaries' perspective, I'm talking about from the, the people you killed's perspective. I think there would be some resentment. Commence mission. Investigate Baus Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, but I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? Kick. Maybe it's a trap. It's like we're standing next to a toy truck, right? Like, look at this. The scale just feels wrong. Is it the lighting, maybe? Look at this, it's a toy car, right? Look at this shit. No, you're just huge. Yeah, I know we're huge. I'm s Be strong, Joe. 
Be strong. Be strong. <sighs> What? Oh, I didn't know. Wait, I thought I, I thought I, fucking. All right, are we just we 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 can fist bump ourselves. All right, I'm glad I got this upgrade. Yeah, boop, boop, boop. yeah, we got him. Okay, so we use it to switch it, and we still use LT to attack. All right. Yeah. All right, where? You know what? I take it back. Game's awesome now. I can do this. I can fist bump myself. Fist my bump. It's got you in its sights. Another one of those stealth mechs. Don't let it outpace you, 621. Uh oh. Use your scanner. Mark your targets to undermine their tricks. Oh yeah, I have a scanner. AP at what? How did you just shoot me through the fucking floor? I like the game a lot more now that I have two melee weapons. Coming. Thank you to Super Stickman twenty two for the resub. Thank you, Super Stickman. It's weird how we don't talk, huh? Oh, what in the Half Life Two is this?
There's coral here? Oh shit. What's gonna happen here? Boss time? No doubt about it. It's water. It's full of coral. My god, it's a whole reef. 621, get out of there! Okay, we're Reddit healing, sorry. Where are they? I thought there was only two left. Wasn't there the one across the room in the corner? Well, that sucks.
Sorry, I'm finding this pretty hard, so I'm concentrating. Sorry I'm so quiet. Did he just... What? Where is he? How'd you get over there so fast? He's gone, isn't he? He's not gone. Blasphemous. I can't believe I have to use a repair kit. It sucks. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've got a new augmented human. <laughs> what happened to 617 and the rest? Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Newcomer? Adequately. A Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. We need to choose our battles. How's things on your end? I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. Oh, this was it? Okay. <laughs> There's a charm on the knee. <laughs> One new message. I see your back, 621. About the coral well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a trip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the corpse or the Liberation Front. It's from me. You'll see when you check the briefing. It's from your, your girlfriend. Here we go. Alright, the blue light means new, right? Or it, it, does it mean something we didn't see yet? Maybe that's what it means. No? Booster. Oh, I guess it did. There's something there. Alright, uh, any new arena? No. Alright, uh, I think we just go to the next one. We could get a better chest, though, couldn't we? Should we buy a new chest? What chest should we get? Should we get the big, the big one? Generator, so what, what does that even mean? How does the more quickly generate resume support? Okay, I actually like having a lot of energy for, for dodging and stuff, so I don't actually want to get that. So that, that's an improvement to that. This is an improvement to almost all of our stats across the board. We're losing a little bit of boost speed, but not too much. Um, I think this is probably the best one. We're losing a little bit there. Uh, we're getting huge generator supply for that. Yeah, let's get this one. Genuinely enjoy the transmissions with Walter and the other handlers without the background geopolitics. It's just meaningless shooting galleries, IMO. Why don't you like them? I, I don't find them interesting. I feel like there's a whole load of nothing going on. Maybe it gets better as it goes along when you when you learn about character relationships and stuff, but so far it's just it's just people saying words to me. Like like no joke. 
I would probably be getting more out of it if they were speaking a language I didn't know and there weren't subtitles. And then in my head I could just be like, wow, this sounds interesting, some shit must be going down. Like, like seriously. Uh oh. It concerns a certain facility, a watch point. Once it regulated the underground flow of coral. Now it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Is coral in the other games? Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planet side PCA force. <laughs> Oh, it's too hot, so we're sending in the AC to cool it down. All right, I got it. I got it. I get it. You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Be ready for anything. Last time you told me to expect the unexpected. Now you're telling me to be ready for everything. The other AC games are on Earth. This isn't. Oh, the other ones are on Earth? I know this one was on Earth. I wasn't sure about the other ones, because I haven't played them. Ooh, this one gets an intro cinematic. Let's go time, six, two, one. Don't worry, not even the PCA would anticipate a solo independent mercenary. You crazy son of a bitch. Oh, this was it. Uh, thank you to Mr. Oak for the new sub. If anyone sees you. Shut up, Walter. Thank you, Mr. Oak, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. And thank you, Jaw20, for the bits. Kojima Tech. I do get some Kojima vibes from this. Handle it. Okay, can mech swim? I'm gonna guess no. Intruder sighted. It's just one AC. Who are they with? We can look into that later. Engage. Uh oh. AP at AP at. Uh oh. What is hitting? Oh, you are hitting me. Oh, owns. Owns. I just came back. Can you please say this this is the Dark Souls of Vanquish? Please just for me for a stupid bit, Joe. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, not doing it. Not doing it. Main system. Activating combat mode. Leave no evidence. If anyone sees you, handle it. <sighs> I'm Joseph Anderson, and this is the Dark Souls of Vanquish. Oh, this just... I thought it was in the o we were in the ocean. Oh, there's a fucking red fucking wall! Where am I going then? It, it go down? Go kill the dudes maybe? Man, I thought I was being a shitter just going in and doing combat. I thought it wanted me to, like, maybe, like, sneak in a little bit. Go 7 
Eight, requesting backup. Uh, I can't get through the HQ. Cavalry isn't coming. Thank you. Maybe you thought I was sneaking because it sounded like Hitman in the uh, beginning. Hitman were some good streams, man. That was pretty fun. There weren't a lot of people there for them, but it seems like people liked them even after the, they were done. We should do more Hitman. Roguelike Hitman? Ooh, fuck Starfield. Let's do that. Sorry, Todd, we're doing Hitman. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. Oh my god, what the f Sorry, Todd. Okay, what the fuck am I doing wrong with that? Two repair kits remaining. You know, I haven't tried charging the new sword yet. I wonder what that does. Here, right? Gotta be. No. Oh, yes. Maybe? No? No? No. You see that? That's the watch points control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. How many of your dogs must I kill before you learn? Someone likes the Witcher. Is that Sula? Beautiful dog. I feel sorry for you. I really do. You may have survived a little longer. Only you had a different master. Holy shit, man. Okay, so some of these enemy ACs, when you try to go and hit them, it's like they just like fucking just like trigger some evasive maneuver and they just automatically just matrix dodge out of your way. It's kind of annoying. Maybe you're not supposed to melee them unless you stun them first. Just, just every single time. It's like no matter what they're doing, whether they're attacking or they just came out of a dodge. It's just like, 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 woo! Like fuck you! Like no, you can't do it. Like they're so slippery. You see that? That's the watch point. They can dodge like you. I can't dodge like that though. Like, inside. like my dodge has a cooldown. Yeah. 
I just got in chat. How's Joe liking the game? He doesn't want to learn, but the game is actually fun. If you're insane, what, what do you mean? I don't want to learn. What the fuck are you talking about? I've been playing the game fairly all stream, trying new shit. Fuck you, dude. Actually, ban that dude. Seriously, fuck that guy. Tent ban forever. So now I'm getting melee hits. That's weird. Why did I hit the button there? Why did I hit the button there? I just waste my stun on this guy. Yeah, it's dead. Dead, 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 dead. Their blood is on your hands. No heal challenge. You um you get more money if you don't heal, don't you? I don't know. If I really need it, I'll use it. We'll see. You see that? That's the watch points control center. What's that? Yeah, like what's that move he's doing there? Is that a how is he like launching forward into an attack so quickly? How do I get that move? I want that move. That's such a fucking quick melee attack. Assault boost, I have that move. My assault boost is nowhere near that fast to, to pull off. Look how long it takes compared to his. He like snaps into it and does damage like instantly. Did I heal? He just dodged while stunned. What? So he was really weak to kick. You did good today. Back to work. Penetrate the control center and destroy the target. So 
supply. Ooh, another boss? Did I heal during that fight, by the way? I, th I saw I had two repair kits. And I thought I was lower at one point. Maybe I, I hit up on the D-pad by accident. I don't remember putting my thumb anywhere near the D-pad, though, so that's weird. This is fine. Good job, 61. We're done here. Head back to base. Uh, Wait, no. Oh. Uh, 621, get out of there. Oh no, it's the fires of Rubicon! As a spectacle game, this or Final Fantasy 16? Oh, Final Fantasy 16. That's one of the best games for spectacle ever. Who are you? An older type of augmented human, fourth generation. Have we made contact? I am Air, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. Before your consciousness... ...is forever scattered in the coral flow. Yeah, there's Riffin over there. So by Rubiconian, do you mean like, you're a human that was born here? Or an alien that was here? And now you're a red ball of light? You're the coral. The coral are people. Vital signs confirmed. All right, vital signs makes me think that we are actually a person inside the robot. Establishing comms link with him. Raven, I've identified an approaching enemy. Wait, what? I'll synchronize with your brainwaves. Maintain contact to support you. Uh oh. Great system. Reactivating combat mode. Whoa, what the? It's an autonomous PCA craft. Valtius. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. The music. The massive heat signature. The base of action, Raven. Yeah, we kicked him. Okay, so dodge direction matters a lot more than I'm thinking. Okay, all right. It's not good enough just to press dodge when they're coming in. I also have to judge where they're coming in from the angle as well. Okay, which is fine. Shit, wrong button. I looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Valtaeus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Oh, that's fucking cool. Alright. What what the fuck just hit me? Holy shit. AP at thirty percent.
That is so fucking fast. What the fuck? Holy shit. There was a sound cue. Oh, my bad. Sorry. So it's perfectly fine for it to be really fast because there's a sound cue. All right, my bad. Sorry. Main system reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Don't do this. You'll have to break its pulse arm to inflict meaningful damage. Did I just hit a shield there? Is that what happened? No, because I just hit it right now. My god. Oh, he just did it again. Okay. Okay, so what am I supposed to do when I'm dodging the missiles and then he flies up in the air and does a big missile that is timed perfectly to hit me after I've dodged the small missiles? What am I supposed to do there? There must be a way to do that. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. What did even hit me there with the end? Holy shit! His shield comes back. Recovery from whiffing a melee. Alright, so this is like 200 times more difficult than anything that's come before. 
Interesting. All right. Man, I didn't even do that much damage to him. Oh my fucking god! The like going for a melee and then they just kind of like gently just fucking waft out of your fucking range. It's so frustrating. What was that? Sorry, when I pause like this and I say, what was that? I'm not necessarily again saying that's bullshit. I, I don't understand what the fuck just happened. W what was that? It's like he parried me. So do I need to restart the mission and come back with different weapons? Because I can't reliably melee him because he might he might do his parry whenever I go in to hit him unless he's stunned. It doesn't do that much damage anyway. I feel like my pulse cannon isn't really doing that much damage against against his shield. Um I wonder if if should I be prioritizing the missiles maybe? You can do it right oh you can do it in here, mid-combat? Okay, that's cool. Missiles don't really do much either. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Now's my chance. Thank you so much. Music's good. Whoops, wrong button. I feel like I hit L1 there, or L3, sorry. Why is Joe doing zero damage? I feel like it's something to do with the ricochet, but I can't get behind him. Okay, cool. All right, very nice. Main system reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Bacteus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Okay. That didn't look like he shot me with anything. That looked like I bounced off his shield. What is that? Why can I sometimes attack the shield sometimes, but sometimes I can't? 
Sometimes I'm closer to him than that and I can get a melee off. What is that? It's because he was moving? It, was he doing like an AoE contact attack or something? Real question? Kinda, yeah. I don't understand what that is. Okay, so I can't, I can't melee him down to 50%. If I melee him down to 50%, I, I literally do not have time to get away from him. So I have to shoot him down to 50%. Or I have to knock him away with a melee attack to be able to, to go. Okay. Melee didn't work at all for me. I, 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 I don't think it's working all that well for me either. However, like, look, look, look at my weapon. L look at the amount of damage it's doing. Charge version maybe is better? If I land it, maybe. That's not very good either. Two repair kits remaining. I don't know what killed me there. Kind of want to change weapons and see if there's a, a ranged weapon that does more damage. What the fuck? Locked in for so long there. Right, let's try a different weapon to see if there's a if there's a better um, ranged attack to get the shield down. Damn. Oh, I didn't I didn't fucking go to. Never mind.
Raven, who the fuck was that on, man? Raven, who the fuck was that on, dude? Holy shit. Okay, so fire volley is with a blade at the end. Okay. Oh my god, can I heal please? I don't understand the combat system chat. I don't understand the combat system chat. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do against that move? What am I supposed to do? People in chat are saying it's a shotgun. How, how do I how do I counter like at any point when I get close to him? He just might fucking shotgun me in the face. What am I supposed to do? There must be a way to to account for it. Is it every single time he does that that particular move he can follow up with a shotgun? Don't get close. What? Just don't get cl at thirty percent. I'm sorry, Freedom. For real, just don't get close. All right, so we want to go to assembly and we want to change a gun, any gun, pretty much. We just want to see if there's a better gun to do. Um, is there? Is there does it say here like what what does more damage against um shields? Is it just damage or impact? Ignore chat's advice is may always figure out. Okay, tell tell me then. M Matt Matt three Z, how am I supposed to know when he does the shotgun blast? Cause right now it seems random to me. Like what's the tell for the shotgun? Because it just seems like every single time he does it, it's just a random chance. Because he does it so infrequently. I had success just dodging it when I hear the beep. That The shotgun doesn't have a beep. If it does have a beep, I'm not hearing it. The beep, the beep, beep is from the missile, which is still pretty fast, especially when it's followed up. The shotgun just happens. The shotgun is different than the um, than the missile. Did the game get better for you, Joe? Unironically, it did. This is this is testing me more, and I feel like I'm learning, and I and I have something to actually work with. It's just really hard, and there are a couple of moves that I don't like so far. The shotgun being one of them. I also think that the the punish windows you earn from knocking the boss down um, aren't enough. But I might not be explaining them well enough yet because I don't know it. If you get close, it seems like he can shoot you just like the ACA can use all his weapons independently. Yeah, it, it feels like at any point that I get close to him, and especially if I'm doing a melee attack, there's a dice roll chance that he is just going to shock on me in the face. And I feel like that's what's happening when I feel like I'm bouncing off of him too. Does you have the skill that you put hand weapons in your shoulder? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I have that. Can phase one you cannot you could, yeah we know that but we're not talking about that like I'm dodging that mostly consistently I'm 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 dodging that about eighty percent of the time at the moment. Your AC's freedom of mobility, especially vertical flight, is a big thing to get used to. At least was for me. What has that got to do with the shotgun blast though? How do I know when he's going to do the shotgun? Or is your answer to just not be in a position that he can use the shotgun? What what um what gun should we try to to do the shield? Why don't I have did I, did it crash? No, there we go, okay. Uh, 
energy weapons. I'm using energy weapons. <laughs> My weeb. I've been using an energy weapon and it does fucking nothing. Um... There's actually a beep when the red square when he does the grenade launch a shotgun attack. I don't. I really don't think there's one when he does the shotgun attack. There is one when he does the the um, the the explodey one, but I think the shotgun is coming out um, like so fast. I don't that uh, I don't think there's a beep. It's just there. I think you're getting them mixed up, but you know maybe maybe I don't know. We'll see. Maybe machine gun to do more damage. You know what we should do? We should, um, let's put the, we tried this, it does nothing. Let's try the laser handgun, and then let's put the, uh, in the other one, let's put, um, the machine gun, and then we'll try both of them. And then in our left hand, we'll put the grenade launcher, and we'll see if the grenade launcher does more. And then in, uh, the left top, we'll put... Um, the vertical missile launcher. All right, and we'll we'll talk. We'll just we'll just shoot everything. I was talking more about the explode. You want to think you're talking about a different attack? Thing. Yeah, I'm talking about the attack specifically to just specifically to just kill me right now. Like, I went up to him and he just it just felt like he just hit an instant. He he ca he's a mage and he cast flame blast on me. Just just boom, instant damage. No tell nothing. All right, let's try all this and see if if any of this does way more shield damage. Main system reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. All right, that's doing more, I think. Laser handgun. It's still not great though. Maybe it's the ricochet. This is doing a bit better. Is the ricochet always at the front? Sometimes I feel like I hit him at the front and it does damage. Alright, what about this? Oh! that much. I think it's the ricochet. Okay, so I'm sorry, Raven. What's the ricochet? What's ricochet do? Um, I don't understand ricochet. Ricochet means you're too far away. Oh, okay. So I'm too far away from him when I'm doing the uh, when I'm doing the the move then. Um Okay, let's go back to our old one then and see if we can go a little closer. While we're doing the, 
No, actually, I don't think that's true. Oh, sorry, I don't think that's that's a good play to go right back to what we were doing. Um, maybe if we go laser rifle, which is what we are using before, but... Let's stay with the... Um, on the left arm, let's stay with... What is it? The missile launcher? Yeah, the, let's stay with the missile launcher because it shoots out from the top and it hits it from far away. That's fine. Um, I think that's okay. And then what about the what about the the right arm? What are we doing on the right arm? Right, sorry, left arm. We have left arm. We're having. Um, do we want the the sword? I feel like the sword. Until I understand exactly what it is that's causing it, I feel like having a sword is just a bad idea on this one. Sorry, this is the one I wanted. Vertical Missile Launcher is what I wanted. So Vertical Missile Launcher is, is I just want to be doing that throughout the whole entire fight. Um, what else do I want here, though? So right back, do I want... Do I just want do I just want to be spamming missiles constantly? Just missiles, missiles, missiles. I guess so, maybe. I don't know what to do here. This is weird. I don't like I have to do this. I don't like to change my kit for this shit. And what do I want in the left hand? Do I want the grenade launcher? I guess so. The grenade launcher, like I, I have to stay away from him, unfortunately, because of the shotgun. I don't understand how to do the shotgun move. Alright, let's try this and see. That's how AC works. Then it's not a game for me. I'm not gonna call it shit because it's not. But it's it's not a game for me if I have to change my kit for bosses like this. Main system reactivating combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Frontiers. Yeah. What was that? Was that the shotgun there? Or was that a rocket? What the fuck? Okay. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Frontiers. The 
will have to break its pulse iron to inflict meaningful damage. Picking up a massive heat signature. Evasive action, Raven. What the fuck? Okay, so the first attack he does is always this weird kind of like swaying spray and then following up with a sweep with the fire that I tried to jump over last time and he still hit me. So do I dodge right under it or do I dodge left and jump over it to the left? Because it wasn't working that way. Um, fuck. Main system, reactivating combat mode. Okay, I, right now in this moment, I don't want to play the game anymore. I don't want to play the game anymore. Like if, if he can just like hit his movement, if his movement can just naturally drift into close enough to me that he can start just being like, fuck you, I'm doing the shotgun blast. I don't want to play the game anymore. Like that's fucking stupid. Like, like what the fuck? Like what am I supposed to do? The rest of the fight, I feel like I can learn, I can respond to, and I'm actually enjoying being being tested a lot. Um, I'm not miserable at all fighting this right now, even though I'm dying a lot, I'm having fun. Like, I feel like the, the combat system is showing itself now, and I'm like, okay, cool, I feel like I'm getting it. But if he can just come over and do that, he can just move up into me, and then shotgun blast me, sometimes more than once, and take off like a huge chunk of my health, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what am I supposed to do? You're not using your movement as effective as you could, but the damage is also insane. Okay, can like literally tell me what what am I supposed to do about the shotgun? Like what am I supposed to do? If if he if he can like every every other move, I feel like you can respond to, you can learn. But what am I supposed to do about the shotgun? I'm trying to to stay away from him, but I, I need to stay somewhat close or else I get ricochet. So I'm trying to stay mid distance to him. But if he gets close to me, uh, or if he if he decides to move into me, then now he can do shotgun. So what can I do? 
sank it. It it just did like half my health. Use a shield? If I do a shield, like I need to know it's coming. So like I don't even think that's gonna do. Do it. Like the problem is not dodging it or reacting to it. The problem is I, I can't. It just it just suddenly is just it's just happening in my face. Like if I could if I could use a shield then I could dodge it. I don't think he has a shotgun. <laughs> <sighs> the answer for shotguns either build with much lower QB cooldown. What the fuck is QB cooldown? Or BCS chip to shoot accurately from longer range as far as my limited knowledge goes. Okay. So just build around it. Quick How would quick boost to help me? What what's quick boost gonna help me with? You can't I can't dodge it. There's no telegraph for it, chat. I can't dodge it. You can? Okay, hold on. Let me be clear of my language because maybe we're miscommunicating. When I say you can't dodge it, what I am saying is that I cannot know, I cannot see a telegraph and think, oh, he's about to do the shotgun blast. Let me hit dodge. If you are saying you can dodge it by just spamming dodge whenever, okay, you're probably right, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is I can't dodge it because by the time I know he's doing it, I've already taken damage. Like I don't see a telegraph for it. It's just any single time that, I, that he's close to me, he can just hit me with a shotgun. If there is a tell, and I'm not seeing it, then fair enough, but I'm not seeing it. Just keep strafing in one direction? Okay, but what about the situation that we're just in right now, where he, he jumped over me, he flew over me, and then when the camera turned around, I, I, he just did it right away. Maybe I could have been moving? It doesn't matter what direction? It seems like the shotgun always comes from his right side. So I'm always moving to the left? Can you test only if it's when you break the shield? He doesn't have the shield right now and he just did it. Sorry, he has the shield right now and he did it, right? Yeah, he has the shield. He has the shield right now. And he just did it. Are you using the hard lock on at all for this fight? Yeah, I'm hitting our R3 when we go in. I think a helpful thing to do in situations where things feel bullshit, especially in FromSoft games, is thinking about why a move was added to whatever character's move set, then working backwards. Yeah, that, that's what I'm trying to do. And I but I don't I don't see I don't see a way to see the telegraph. My gamer instincts are telling me that there's one of two things is true. Either there's a telegraph that I'm not seeing, or you just need to not put yourself in the situation that, that he can do that ability. And if that's the case, I don't want to play the game again anymore because like, fuck it. That's lame. You might like it, that's fine. There's gotta be a tell, that's what I think too, but I don't see it. Keep moving, don't stop. Anytime you're stopped, there's an opening. I don't feel like I am stopping though. I feel like I am moving constantly, except for when I'm shooting the grenade launcher. When, when am I stopping moving? Even when he moved over, over me, I was still moving. Maybe I just wasn't moving in the right direction. You need to be quick boosting as much as possible. I feel like my stamina is, my EN is always down and I'm quick boosting if anything too much. Can we say the telegraph or do you want to figure out yourself? If there's, if there's a telegraph, tell me. What's the telegraph for the shotgun? I've asked like like a couple times for it and no one's been able to give it to me. He becomes super aggressive and moves toward you, then he uses a shotgun? No, there's been times he uses the shotgun when he's just been just standing around. It's a red box that appears on the enemy. That's a different attack chatter. That's not the shotgun. The red, you're thinking of the um, the rocket that he shoots at you. That is a different attack. Oh, 
I think just keeping distance and if he's closing to expect the shotgun, maybe. But in a situation that just happened, that doesn't seem like um like it's gonna be consistent. Only thing is never be on the same horizontal plane if you can. I don't know if I have the energy to do that. Because I need to quick boost a lot to get around his, his rockets. Because even if I am in the air, they still get me. I don't know if I can do that. I can try. I can try that. Looks like, apart from the shotgun attack, I really like the fight. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Visually, it's impressive too. I don't know, man. I don't think I have the. Uh, I'm not that comfortable with the with the fight to stay in the air. Man, did he just recover his shield while stunned? Fucking hell, man. Okay, so he did it just there three times in a row, right? I didn't see a tell, I didn't hear anything, he just did it, I was strafing left, and it still did some chip damage to me, but it didn't smash me in the face like it did. So if I'm close to him and he, he does it, sometimes I feel like he does it even faster than that. There's, there's like literally no tell. gonna do some and then no no you cannot you cannot dodge to the right so I have to dodge left and then jump okay main 
system. Reactivate in combat mode. I looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Bounteous. You'll have to break its pulse arm to inflict meaningful damage. That's another one too. Like sometimes I'm quick boosting from the from the missile barrage, and then he will do that move, and I'm just checkmated. I can't do anything because I'm quick boosting. Maybe with a different mech. I don't know if it's because I'm hitting him with a rocket when he launches the missile barrage, and that's knocking him off sync with with his animations. I don't know. Like <sighs> set up issue. Then the game sucks for me. I don't want to have to do like homework of like, oh, what setup causes it so I have to like fucking quick boost to do this shit. Like, again, I'm trying to be really diplomatic. If you like that, great. Like, that's great. It really is. I I'm happy for you, but I don't like that sort of shit. I just want to play the fucking game. I don't want to have to do homework like that. That's how he got behind me and he did the uh, the shotgun. The shotgun definitely has a tell. I saw it. He cocks the shotgun in his left arm. That's his uh, his machine gun fire. He does that before he shoots the machine gun. I think you're getting them mixed up. Maybe it's there. I haven't seen it, but no, he that's he does that before he does the the uh, machine gun thing. Main system reactivating combat mode. It's an autonomous PCA craft. Yeah, I think he just did it right there, right? I think that was it. Thank you. 
main system. Reactivate in combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's oh, it's past 7 o'clock, but we need to stop. Okay, I don't, I don't, I actually don't know if I can do this without, with my kit. Maybe I have to go and upgrade some, some weapons or something. This feels beyond me right now. This is really hard. Really, really hard. Oh, man. So what's next week? Uh, I don't know. We'll see how this goes tomorrow. But uh, next Friday, we're starting Starfield, I believe. If this ends up being a bust, then we'll do uh, Blasphemous too. Uh, I feel pretty embarrassed I can't, uh, that I can't kill this boss. I'm not happy. Uh, the boss is pretty fun, though, apart from the shotgun move. And that I have to change my whole loadout. I'm not really happy about that. Try looking at the weapons description. Why? Thank you to uh, Comrade Frank for the resub. Thank you to Kringus36 for the resub. Thank you Perfect C3 for the resub as well. Thank you the Marfi. Zardak? Zardak? Yeah, fours or A's, right? Zardak. And thank you Feels Band Man for the resub as well. Thank you very much. You can just change your weapons. Your base mech actually isn't a real problem unless you want to get reverse legs for a higher I, I've already changed my weapons. This is a different loadout than I came in with. I was using swords before, and I can't go in. Um, if there's a way to plan around the shotgun, maybe I can start going and using swords again because I really like the um, the uh, the melee attacks. They do a lot of damage. But I can't... Um, I can't figure out the shotgun. Now, maybe I'll look back at the footage and see if there's some sort of tell or some pattern to it. A lot of people are saying the shotgun is after the machine gun strafing. He's doing it very often after the, mach the machine gun strafing, but I'm pretty sure he can do it even without the machine gun strafing coming first. He does do it very often though, they do follow. But he doesn't always do the shotgun after the machine gun strafing. Sometimes he just does machine gun strafing and that's it. He doesn't do anything else after that. I think you should start flying more instead of dodging. I don't know how I have to dodge in the air then because I I can't I can't just fly over the missiles. Maybe if I have a faster mech, I you can just fly and fly over the missiles. But I have to quick boost in the air to to get around the missiles. So I don't I don't think I have the energy to to do it. You can hover with quad quad leg. I don't have a quad leg, and I don't want to play with a quad leg. And if the boss is um, requires you to have quad leg, I'd rather play Blasphemous too. You will cycle significantly faster if you get better with the missiles. Treat them like a trigger cooldown and well. That's what I'm trying to do, but sometimes I'm dodging instead. Um, I'm also trying to always use the the grenade launcher. Uh, I think that's what I have, right? Grenade launcher. I'm using the grenade launcher when he does certain um, missile spawn moves because because I get or I have time to do a free hit because he because um, uh, they take time to shoot out. Phase two with the fire sweep seems bonkers. Dodge left, then jump, and then the other ones jump, maybe hover. I don't know. We're not even getting it to uh, to get there. But uh, apart from the shotgun, um, I like the fight. It's it's interesting. Uh, I'm I'm really engaged with it. The um. The shotgun is making me not want to continue, and that's it. And um, and the thought of having to completely change my loadout even more than I did uh, will probably make me quit if it's that kind of game. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. 
I'm not I'm not going into every battle and being like, oh, what should I do? Oh, I'm feeling that this is a week to grenade launcher. I'm not I'm not doing that shit. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for some more. Have a good day or rest of your night. Have a good weekend if you're not here tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, if not, I'll see you Tuesday. See you later.